हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सौरव सर्स क्लासेस द क्वेश्चन इज द वैल्यू ऑफ लैमडा फॉर विच द सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशंस टू एक्स माइनस वाई माइनस जेड इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व एक्स माइनस टू वाई प्लस जेड इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर एंड एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस लैमडा जेड इज इक्वल टू फोर हैज नो सोल्यूशन इज सो फर्स्ट वील आर डिक्वेशंस वन And two. From this, we'll get three x minus three y is equal to eight. Is equal to x minus y is equal to eight by three. Is e so x is equal to eight by three plus y. Now, putting the value of x in equation two, we get. y plus eight by three minus two y plus z is equal to minus four, and from here we get z minus y is equal to minus twenty by three. Now, using these values in the third equation, we get. Two into z plus twenty by three plus eight by three plus lambda z is equal to four, or lambda plus two into z plus forty-eight by three is equal to four, or lambda plus two into z is equal to minus twelve. Therefore, z is equal to minus twelve by lambda plus two. Now, for this, for z to exist, lambda plus two not equal to zero, or lambda not equal to minus two. So the correct answer is minus two. That is option B. The next question is, if alpha is a root. Of x squared minus x plus one is equal to zero, then alpha to the power two thousand eighteen plus alpha to the power minus two thousand eighteen is. So we have been given that x square minus x plus one is equal to zero. So alpha, which is the root, is equal to one plus minus b squared, that is one minus four ac, so minus four by two. And this comes out to be one plus minus root three i by two. Now, if we square this, we'll get alpha to be equal to alpha minus one, or rather, instead of squaring this and checking for it, you can simply replace x is equal to alpha over here, and you'll get alpha squared is equal to alpha minus one. Now alpha cube is equal to alpha squared into alpha, but alpha squared is equal to alpha minus one. So alpha cube is equal to alpha minus one into alpha, which is equal to alpha squared minus alpha. Now alpha squared is equal to alpha minus one. So alpha minus one minus alpha, which is equal to minus one. Now therefore, e to the power six is equal to one, and alpha to the power six is equal to one, and alpha to the power minus six is also equal to one. Now let us see whether two thousand eighteen is exactly divisible by six or not. Two thousand eighteen divided by six, three eighteen, two one, twenty one again three eighteen, three eight six thirty six, two. So we get three thirty six point three three. So therefore, alpha to the power two thousand. 
So 2016 is exactly divisible by 6 because we are getting a remainder of 2 when we are dividing 2018 by 6. So alpha to the power 2016 is equal to 1 since this is equal to alpha to the power 6 into 336 that is equal to 1 to the power 336 is equal to 1. Similarly, alpha to the power minus 2016 is equal to 1. Therefore, alpha to the power 2018 plus alpha to the power minus 2018 can be written as alpha to the power 2016 into alpha squared plus alpha to the power minus 2016 into alpha to the power minus 2. So we get this as alpha squared plus alpha to the power minus 2. Now alpha squared was equal to alpha minus 1. And alpha to the power minus 2 is equal to 1 by alpha minus 1. We get, the, we get the value of alpha to the power minus 2 also from this equation because if you will just inverse both the sides, you will get 1 by alpha squared is equal to 1 by alpha minus 1. Now replacing the value of alpha over here which we had gotten over here we'll get this to be equal to 0. So the correct answer is option B that is 0.